Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This is Dave, and we are continuing our journey with Lara Croft. Mm, it could mean something happened hundreds of years ago that we don't know about yet. <laughs> Maybe some mines got lost in the jungle too. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, and these guys are always having these little banter's, which totally interrupts what I am saying. <laughs> so it's kind of rude. Uh, but anyways, welcome, uh, welcome back. If you are indeed coming back, uh, thanks for stopping by. And uh, yeah, so last uh, episode we did a our first tomb, which was through there. And I must say, it was a little underwhelming. I mean, like. I guess the stuff we had to do to, uh, to get to the treasure, I'm using air quotes, uh, I guess that was okay, uh, whatever, uh, but man, the treasure was just, I, we just read a stone, and like, it did give us a skill, but it was like, you know, in like Rise of the Tomb Raider, you finally get to the, to the treasure, and yeah, you'd get like some kind of skill or whatever upgrade but there would be like lots of like actual like things to bust open and to collect and you got a lot out of it you felt like you accomplished something i did not it was very just it was underwhelming uh, as as this game has been so far <laughs> to be completely honest uh i'm gonna try not to be negative uh, about it but you know i have to i have to tell the truth about it but anyways let's get to it uh we are i'm not even sure what we're doing i know we got to go this way uh we're trying to head towards some i think it's a civilization i don't know what we're doing so let's uh discover it together all right let's get to it i've already said that a few times <laughs> All right, let's do it. I think we can get out that way. Just making sure there's no booby traps. All right, so together. Jonah, help me with this. On three, two, one. <laughs> Quick time. <laughs> so the leopard's back. Gotta 
be some more wood around here somewhere. Oh, come on. Okay, that was ridiculous. Like, they have a real problem, like... I've never had to craft arrows before this point. Like, I've just had them. So don't you think it would have been a real nice thing to, like, if, if, if I have to have an arrow to complete the sequence to, like, pop up something saying, Hey, uh, you better R2 while running to craft arrows. Like, come on. I mean, they eventually did, but... And she was totally okay? mauled! She's all ripped up! There's no way she'd be able to do this! Do you know how many stitches she would have to have in her back? I'm gonna go make camp. He's not even concerned about that her entire back would be shredded right now by that jaguar. This stuff is just not even realistic in this universe. I know Lara's tough, but... Oh, she's like, oh boy, my back is stiff. Let me take a look at that. <laughs> Jeez. Come on. Uh, it's not pretty. Now they're looking at it, huh? Hours later. You know, with everything we've been through recently, I've been thinking about my brother. I always try to protect him from my father from himself. But I lost him. You did everything you could. If I had been in the right place, at the right time, he would still be here. If I had eyes in the back of my head. You can't protect everyone. Hmm. Thank you. I miss him. I know. My parents. I miss them too. I had a dream about my mother recently. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It was so vivid. <laughs> when I was little, my father used to keep things from me. Hide things. About her, especially. Why would he do that? After she died, he thought they'd cause me pain. It didn't stop me from looking for them, of course. <laughs> I still have so many questions. Your dad created as many mysteries as he solved. Dominguez said that he would use the silver box of his shell to remake the world. If you had that power, what would you do? <laughs> Panic, probably. Hmm. You wouldn't go back to when your brother was alive and be with him again. Um, I lose everything else. No way. 
I like this world. It's... It's not perfect. But everything I love, now, is in it. treasure, the adventurer Lara Croft must outwit the king, reach the forbidden tomb and solve the mystery of the White Queen. The way be fraught with trials. Lara, are you doing all that so work? The adventurer should not dally any longer. In a minute, Dad! The high walls of the castle beckon taunting. Strange beasts cross our hero's path. Hard to tell if they're bloodthirsty. Ugh. Our hero must be quiet to avoid alerting the king. Kingsguard will never expect Croft to climb the castle. The castle tower is taller than she thought. Continues climbing, looking for another way in. Ugh. Ugh. Our hero spies another entrance. covers her footing and her goal. Now, onward to the Forbidden Tomb. These parapets are damaged. She'll have to squeeze through. <coughs> She's so close. She can almost touch it, but an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance.
At last. She spots a way in below. She will have to be careful. Why do I do these stupid things? So she just falls like five stories and she's totally fine. And plus her hand would be so ripped up from that gutter. I I'm sorry, but they just, they're putting all these totally unrealistic scenarios, even for Tomb Raider. I am sorry. There's no way. I just, man, they just dropped the ball so hard on this game. And it's a shame. At last, she enters the Forbidden Tomb. Wow. So why didn't she just walk around the building and go through that door? <laughs> so... <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. stole the queen at 30 North and 90 East. From her pen, she wrote her heart with light Unlock her love's release. Oh, come I on. I wonder if the White Queen is lonely. So there's a full blown puzzle in their house. Okay, I have no idea what I, what the heck I'm supposed to be doing here. There's light coming in. The coordinates might have something to do with the globe. Okay. I don't even remember what the coordinates were. Was it like 90? Okay, how do I get back to my stuff? Okay, 30 north, 90 east. release. It worked. Why would her dad <sighs> have built that into this room? Croft has entered the forbidden mezzanine. She'll have to be careful. Need to find the White Queen. This looks Mayan. Is it Kukulkan? This is from Colombia. 
as I haven't seen some of these artifacts before. An ossuary. This box contains the bones of the dead. I can't read the... This is the kind of armour that the conquistadors wore during the Age of Discovery. I wonder what they found. 25th Dynasty. The interior of the sarcophagus is incredibly intricate. The great bat swings and bar. Okay, what did that have to do with anything? And tribal mask made of gold, the death mask of Agamemnon found in Mycenae. Hmm, a Persian lioness, but someone stole her head. I wonder what she was looking at. This looks Greek, no, Persian. I wonder what she's guarding. A statue of an Ariki from the Cook Islands. So now what are we supposed to do? Yatiri, a South American healer. A baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. Cool. I wonder if it lost its mother too. Okay, so I really Need I have no to find the white queen. Yeah, but I have no idea what the heck. Uh, so I gotta go back down here now. Really? Man. Man, there are so many things about this game that just feel so amateurish. Yes. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these guys. These pictures do anything? Okay, what about my pictures. Okay, so there's the... Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's the bat. And then I need two guys with swords. No, I need the two guys with the shields. So these guys... Need to get out of here. Why does the camera move? <sighs> the knight's shield reflects the light beam. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let's just leave him here. Alright, so we gotta get... This guy out of here. I need to get this guy.
Okay, now what do we gotta do? Does this give us any clues? This is an old game. Two shields and a white crown. Could that be the white queen? The poor queen, Maria Theresa, died a painful death, to which the king said, This is the first trouble she has given me. I bet the poor thing could hardly see out of that chanfron. Mid 14th century barding. Germanic, I think. I can't imagine how heavy those A quotation from Chaucer. What is better than wisdom? The head of King David. The cup of St. John. The apostle had been given a chalice of poisoned wine. But after his blessing, the poison transformed into a snake, and he drank the wine unharmed. Now I can free her! With light, unlock her love's release. Amazing. Her heart pounding, our hero crosses the threshold into the unknown. These are mum's things. The path was dark and is guarded by bats, said the Red Knight. The White Queen regarded him with a curious smile and said, I'm not afraid of bats. I'm not afraid of anything. Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. Morning. 
So, uh, Silver Crown Mountain? Yeah. I wonder what the jungle has in store for us today. Vest of the Empress Jaguar. This vest was made from the height of the Empress. The Empress Jaguar? Okay. You nearly killed me. Uh, dark hide provides concealment from enemies. Okay, upper body enemies take longer to detect. Okay, how do I? Oh, I don't want to equip it. I don't think. I have to equip it. Okay. <laughs> Rotate with the square button. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. Some weird choices in the um The button layouts. Wonder yeah, no, Jonah, I don't care what you wonder. How did you sleep? I had that dream again. About your parents? Yeah. All right. Well, we really didn't get <laughs> didn't get too far because it was all cutscenes, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, we did get to the next uh, base camp, I guess. Uh, we got a little bit of history on Lara and her uh, relationship between her parents. Although I'm pretty sure. They covered that exact same scene in Rise of the Tomb Raider. Or maybe it was one of the DLCs. I can't remember, but I know I remember seeing something like that. Anyways, okay, well, we got a little bit of gameplay uh, with uh, the White Queen, so that's that's cool. Well, um, I think we'll just wrap it up here because I, I don't want this video to be like uh, two hours long or, or anything like that. And it's probably going to take a while to get to the next base camp. So uh, thanks for joining me today. Glad you could be here. I love you and I appreciate everything you do for uh, for the channel. And I hope you like uh, like what I'm doing here. All right. Well, until the next video, have a great day. Stay safe and uh, just, uh, you know, be kind to everybody. Just, just be kind. <laughs> It'll make a, a huge difference in the world. All right. We'll see ya. Bye.